Hey everyone, I'm Brian with Engadget, and this is the Kindle Fire HDX 8.9. From a hardware perspective, this is actually a very similar device to the 7 inch version that we looked at about a month ago. Um, aesthetically, it looks pretty much almost exactly the same. Uh, it's got that same slim body, uh, same beveled backing right here, big power button on the back large volume rocker as well. Uh, one of the physical differences you'll notice, however, right here, this is an eight megapixel camera. So this is actually the first Kindle Fire with a rear facing camera. Um, pretty pretty decent camera, looks looks all right in, uh, in natural lighting, doesn't do, do too great in an office setting, uh, but it'll do pretty much everything you want. Uh, speaker grills have been moved up top. That of course is really nice. That means you're not gonna you know, block them with your hands when you're actually holding the tablet. Inside the hardware is pretty much the same as well. Uh, you're gonna find the same 2.2 gigahertz quad core processor, same two gigs of RAM. It's very snappy, it's a, it's a very powerful device. Pretty much everything the casual user is gonna to wanna to do on this thing will be able to do in an instant. It actually also handles gaming pretty well. So we're gonna fire up this racing game right here. So the graphics look great, the, uh, the response time is, is excellent. I mean, honestly, the only major drawback when it comes to doing gaming on this device is that there aren't really a lot of games right now, and that I'm very terrible at playing racing games. Uh, that's gonna continue to be an issue. Obviously, Amazon is making a big push towards developers. Uh, they're making really easy to port apps over from, uh, from the Android ecosystem. The other really nice thing about this device from a hardware standpoint is this 8.9 inch display. This is, this is what gives the HDX its name. It's 2560 by 1600, uh, 339 PPI. I mean, this is really just an absolutely gorgeous display. If you're watching a lot of video on this thing, which Amazon wants you to do, um, this is gonna be really fantastic for that. There's also a feature built into uh, Fire OS right now called Second Screen. So this is a way of actually flinging all of this content to your TV set. So the biggest upgrade from a software perspective is a new feature called Mayday. So we, we just brought down the quick settings right here. Um, you know, we've got a couple standard settings, brightness, wireless, um, auto rotate, things like that. But this is Mayday right here. I mean, obviously the Fire has always been this uh, a big tablet for casual users. This, is, this has been a big holiday gift as well. So, you know, assume that you buy this for, uh, for a friend or family member, somebody who's not quite tech savvy. This is a way of building that tech support directly into the device so you don't actually have to be somebody's tech support 24-7 if they can't figure out how to use a tablet. My name is James. May I have your name, please? Hi, James. Uh, this is Brian. Hey, Brian. How can I help you today? Uh, can you, can you actually, can you tell me how to turn on quiet time? Sure. Quiet time is one of the options that's available. And uh, we'd access that by pulling your finger down from the top of the screen to pull the menu bar down. And one of the things that you'll see here is the quiet time button. Now that will simply turn it on and off to enable or disable it. So there you go. Uh, I would say that the problem was pretty sufficiently solved. That's Mayday. Amazon is, is working to actually get the, the response time to this um, down to 15 seconds or less. And you know, in, in all the trials that we've done on both this and the seven inch, the response time has been has been very quick. X-ray has been expanded as well this time out. Uh, now there's actually X-ray for music. So let's fire up one of these albums. I don't know if we can clear the royalties on this, so I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit. Um, but this is really just kind of a nice little uh, additional bit of lyrics that you get. All these are, are cleared through the publisher, so these are gonna be pretty accurate. Amazon didn't crowdsource them. Um, few, uh, let's go back into this video. Um, there have been some upgrades to, uh, to X-Ray on the video end as well. So um, in addition to the, the, the standard uh, graph of actors right here, you also get trivia. All of this is pulled from IMDb, which is, uh, which is an Amazon service and music as well. So this, is, this will show you everything that's, uh, that, that's playing in the video that you're watching. And obviously this is Amazon, so there's a link to buy all of this music right through the service as well. So these are the two new Kindle Fire HDX devices. Uh, this is the seven inch, this is the 8.9 inch. Uh, again, software is the same. Hardware, pretty much exactly the same. I mean, obviously this is scaled up. Uh, you've got a much bigger, better screen. And there's an eight megapixel rear facing camera. So that's one of the big differences there, which actually brings up uh, something else I wanted to show you guys. Um, last time we reviewed one of these devices, we were very excited about the origami case. And if you're picking up one of the new Kindle Fires, 
absolutely pick up one of these cases. Um, you know, fully magnetic, so it's going to turn the screen on and off. Um, and then the nice thing is, there you go. So it, it's got the, it magnetically attaches to itself. It is its its own stand built in, so you can do it in a, in a landscape or in portrait mode. Um, very cool. And then one other really cool thing that you're only going to get on the 8.9 inch version of this guy is based on that rear facing camera. So if we slide up, there you go. That automatically turns on the camera. Um, so, you know, not, not really a killer app, but a, a nice little feature built into this really cool or origami case. So this guy starts at $379. That's 80 bucks more than the last version. Can't really call these budget tablets anymore, um, particularly this one. I mean, $379, obviously much cheaper than the, than, uh, than the new iPad. Um, but, you know, we're kind of edging into Samsung territory right there. All in all, however, really nice device, really great screen, uh, super powerful processor. If you don't mind Kindle Fire OS and you don't mind uh, having access blocked off to the Google Play Store, um, it's a really fantastic choice this holiday season.